Today on Moving Day, two sweethearts move from suburbia to the seaside. And I get my head examined. Today we are in North London, we're in Enfield, to meet a couple who are marking their retirement with a big move from the city to the seaside. And they're leaving their family home of 35 years for a new lease of life down on the coast at Hastings. Meet Leon and Jane Tuppin. They met in the late 1950s and have been married for 43 years. Leon's a photographer and together with Jane they've built up a profitable photographic studio in London's King's Cross but they're nearing retirement and want to get back to their roots by the seaside. So they've sold their family home for a whopping £350,000. Not bad, considering they paid just ten and a half grand for it brand new. But then that was the swinging 60s. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello! Lovely to Your doorbell see you. Your doorbell works. Thank you, Sally. Well, how there's something. How are you doing? Hi, Gavin. Mind your head. That's oh. it. I'm sorry about Gavin ringing your doorbell like a small child. He's and very mind mature. the lion. Here we are. Put the kettle on. Now, you guys have lived here for absolutely eons, 35 years. Why are you upping sticks now? Well, we need a change, basically. You know, a big change. A big change. And then uh, various other reasons, like, you know, Pension doesn't sort of uh, come up to expectations, so we make a bit of profit here. We, we, we get to our ideal, go to the seaside, because I was born in Brighton, and we spent a lot of time in Brighton, because that's where my parents lived. And um, so we were back to the sea. They've elected to do all of the packing for the move themselves. So just how organised are they? Into what I think is the office, camera gear. This is, uh, looks like, expensive and very precious stuff. Maybe that should be packed last minute and perhaps taken down in the car. Little wardrobe, built-in number here. Winter coats. Now, these should really go in a garment box. Probably the last thing to be loaded onto the van as well, because the strong sea breezes down in Hastings, I think we'll be needing them on Tuesday, because we haven't got long to go. Could have chose anywhere in Europe to move to, but they're moving from Enfield in London, just down to here, Hastings by the sea. There's plenty going on in Hastings, you know. I mean, at the moment, they've got a music festival going on there, you know. Mm. There's always... I mean, because I've been having the local paper for quite some time now, you know, so I know what's going on, and uh, as well as our visits down there. So, and it's a big enough place for us to find like minds, as it were, you know. So. Yes, there's an old town there, which is very arty, in the street theatre, so plenty to do. Now, there's a lot of clutter about, which does worry me, all the drawers are empty, though, so they've obviously boxed that lot up, but all the units are going to have to go, but it's only two days till D-Day, and I thought this lot would have been ready to roll. The master bedroom. Now, let's have a look how they're doing in here. All the little frilly stuff, this can stay up till the morning of the move. Cupboards. Now, no way are you going to wear all these clothes in two days. They only need to keep two more outfits ready for this, and the moving clothes, all this lot can be packed up in a garment box, down in the hallway by the front door, ready to go straight on that van, because I'm going to be one of the last things off as well. A few photos knocking about. Now, I reckon nostalgia has most definitely set in here, because the children would have grown up in this house. That looks like first steps downstairs. That's a lot of memories. But one thing they are taking care of, though, is when they do move to the sunnier climates of Hastings, they're going to wear the proper attire. Sunglasses and a hat. Aye. Come through, Sally, and I'll show you the house details. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sure you're looking, looking forward to seeing that. I am indeed. Here we go. Yeah. Nice front, isn't it? Isn't it lovely? It's uh, Victorian, 1897. So it's got the basement, ground floor, first floor, and the attic, which has been converted. Imagine that, a four floor property. Oh, no, think brilliant. about it. I know. Because at the moment, it's, I mean, you've got two here, but imagine having all that extra yeah. space. I think I'll need a stainless stair lift. <laughs> now, this room does look like a bit of a jumble. Looking at the other rooms, I thought they perhaps weren't ready for the move in two days, but there's a lot of stuff packed up here. Looks like clothes, all soft-packed stuff in bin bags, duvet from the single bed, a colour-coding system ready for the move as well. All the suitcases utilised and full of gear. They're all ready to go straight in the van. Maybe the Tuppens are more organised than I've given them credit for. 
This room's almost clear with just a few family relics left behind. The language pack in French? Yes, we were all learning French at one time. Oh, were you? The whole family? Yes, yeah, all of us, but um, not, I haven't learned very much. Maybe you could pick up another language when you get down to Hastings. Yes, there's uh, about 20 language schools in Hastings, so we're hoping we may take a language student in or two for a few weeks at a time. Oh, a bit of lodging, earn a bit of extra yes, cash. Yes, somebody who will turn the dishwasher on. Good idea, because switches aren't the tuppence strong point. I took the chandelier down from over the dining table and, you know, uh, my wife's pride and joy, the chandelier, um, and put that pendant up there and then you can see what happens. I switch this light on. Okie doke. That light comes on, but then also does the other light. And that's meant to be switched over there. And that's supposed to be the switch over there. Well, Gav's a trained electrician, so I'm sure he'll be able to sort it out for the new owners. Leon and Jane's new house has 13 different rooms with lots of wall space to fill. It's a chance for Jane to get something she's always wanted. So you've got the original fireplace. Brilliant, isn't it? Yes. What I'm looking forward to about this room is having the mirror above the fireplace. For 30 years I wanted a mirror above a fireplace, so I need a big, strong man to put one up and I'll leave Lee out of this. So why would Lee not want you to put a mirror above a fireplace? He doesn't like looking at himself. Right, I think that's sorted it out. All that you've done is when you took the chandelier down, you've got the wires here, the red ones and the blacks. Now you've got two of the blacks crossed over, the neutral, one's a neutral, one's a switch wire. That sounds confusing, but basically one of these wires goes down to that switch and because it was in the wrong hole, it means it's controlled by the other light switch, but not at full voltage, so it just means it comes on dim. It's a very, very common mistake with people swapping lights over. And uh, the wire should have been marked up by a bit of tape. But once I've screwed this back, I'll pop the fuse back in, and it should all be working. There we go, sorted. I've noticed oh, somebody yeah. very glamorous here, Jane. <laughs> A little uh, Audrey Hepburn style. Oh, right. Luke. Yes, it was that era. This is you. That's me, yes. That reminds me of the beach because I'd just come from the beach and my husband said, you look good, can I photograph you? Well, this is you coming straight off the beach? Yes. You glamorous yes. woman, you. How did you two meet them? My friend's sister, she brought this uh, young girl home with her one day, you know, who had uh, emigrated for Sun from Sunderland and a uh, little thing like that. We all looked on her as the, the flat pet, as it were, because she was so young. And... Um, and then it sort of I started to take a bit of notice of her, you know. <laughs> That's Lee when he was young. He's lovely, isn't he? I did, I loved his... He had very long eyelashes and blue eyes, and that was it for me. Anyway, over the years, you build up a library of memories which stand you in good, <laughs> good stead all the way through, you know. Any particular... So when you look at your wife and you think, oh, well, she doesn't look so good this point, but, <laughs> wow, think of all those other times there, and you think, she's terrific. I love this painting. You do, yeah. It's fabulous. Now, this will look terrific in the new house. Yes, it will, yeah. It will go on the seaside wall very nicely. The aquatic theme yeah. running through. The air is so much cleaner there, you know. You haven't got this smoke all the time and the noise of the M25. <laughs> and you're into all this relaxation stuff, is it true? Yeah. You're going to start some kind of weird massage Indian course? head massage. I've practised. So you have to move oh, your crikey. scalp. You've got very strong hands, yeah, Jane. Uh -huh. Although I'm loving all this attention, the removal company are coming to start packing up the lorries tomorrow, a day ahead of the move. And there's still masses to do. Leon and Jane are colour-coding all their boxes and bags so the removal team will know where to put them at the other end. Very organised, but are they on top of everything else? This is really important. Have you done all your laundry? Yes. Right, you've got to... <laughs> I have. <laughs> have you got your valuables box? which is passports, driving licence, credit cards, yeah. all well, ready I'm to go. Well, I'm for a key to my filing cabinet. And then just take that and as your valuables it, box. Yeah. OK, survival kit now. This is when you get there. Mm. Yeah. Like Whiskey. Lou Roll. Oh, <laughs> no, right. <laughs> Lou Rolls, cleaning products, light bulbs, because yes. you never know, light bulbs yes. might go, especially yeah. if you've had anything to do with putting the lights up, you haven't Yes. Way. And the final thing is, have you written a letter to the people, the new owners of this house? Not yet. Are you going to? Yes. We will. Are you going to let them know where the fuse board is, where the stopcock is? Yeah, he's got a few uh, diagrams and so forth. They, they know where the stopcocks are. Uh, just a nice where little hello and welcome. Yes. Hope yeah. you enjoy yes. it as much as we have. Here's where the sewer comes in. You know, Gab, how some moves can be a bit of a gamble? I think this one is going to be a surefire hit. This couple, Jane and Lee, they're so in love and just ready for the next big adventure in life. 
The Tuppens have packed up 35 years of nostalgia, but they're really, really looking forward to getting down to Hastings. And quite frankly, so am I. I love to be beside the seaside. You're such a small child. If you're very, very good, I might just buy you an ice cream. Goody. With a flicken. Leon and Jane's move, it's too big to achieve in a single day, so the removal team are here to pack up most of the house in advance. Put it on your head. Let's take it. Ow! <laughs> 35 years of their lives loaded up and ready for the move tomorrow. In the end, you have to throw things in boxes and forget about being nostalgic over them and away you go. So now it's become reality, whereas before it was just something we were going to do in the future. It's sad to leave this house after all. You know, three children, five grandchildren later. And uh, they're probably going to miss it too. How the Dickens will ever find anything and we decide we want the butter knife. Which box do we look in? In the kitchen. Coming up, Jane's creative colour coding system is in danger of crumbling. There's been a few complaints. Oh, no. We've been complaining from the removal well, we thought they might be on four floors. <laughs> Well, this is it, the morning of the big move, and it is a beautiful day. Leon and Jane Tuppen are moving from Enfield in North London to Hastings on the south coast. Okay. Out on to Ryan. So well, no, Gavin's gone ahead of the party to get some inspiration for a housewarming present, or so he tells me. But I'm here to help the Tuppens get on their way. Hi, so we're Come in here. Well, hello, hello there. How are you You're today? Fine. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, getting organised. Well, you know. Yeah, it really does look bare in here. I notice you've taken down that beautiful seascape painting. Yeah, did you bring your scrubbing brush? It's rather left some dirty marks. It where? just so mm -hmm. happens I have, and I like nothing more than getting into that grime on the wall. That could be my job. <laughs> I'm glad of that. My pièce de résistance. Mm. So what did you guys do last night for your final night? Well, last night was very nice. It was a bit cold because the heating was off, but Lee got the fire working. And my son came round with a bottle of champagne and we sat on the floor and had a picnic on some cushions and we had fish and chips and champagne. Fantastic. Let's do it. Right, right. let's go. OK. The key thing here is not to use too much water because if you do, there'll be streaks all down the wall and we want to avoid that at all costs. Just little scrubbing movements, circular, I think works the best. Oh, yes! The lorries are off, the emergency refreshment box is packed, and everyone's cleaning up. Everyone except Gavin. Oh. Oh. Man, that time goes quick. Sorry, Sally. With 35 years of memories loaded up, Leon and Jane are about to say farewell. But there's a surprising lack of sentimentality. Here we go. Got Thanks the bucket and spade. <laughs> Hastings, here we come. Ready for that? I wonder what they're locking up here. Yeah. Oh, Don't yeah, Don't shirk Jane. your duties. That's it. Jane always locks up. Good girl. Got the, the flags. Will Britannia, here we come. Not our keys any longer <gasps> after 35 years. This is a big oh. moment, isn't it, Lee? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Give me a hug. <laughs> <laughs> the Tuppens have sold their old house in Enfield for £350,000. They're moving into this £211,000 property 80 miles away in Hastings, freeing up a nice wedge of capital to fund their retirement. The removal team had made the two-hour journey. Jane and Leon are making themselves at home and Gavin's managed to drag himself away from the arcade. And look at the sun is shining on the other side of the street, but that's OK, because up there, Gavin, look, there is a superhero to protect Lee and Jane. Sally, you're mad. Let's rock. Just what I've always wanted. Thank you. This is it, Sal. Here we go. Here they are. Hello. Hello. How are you? you? Checklist in hand. Oh, yeah. You all right? Yes, Come yes. in. Did you have a nice journey you down? We yeah. certainly did. Lovely what, look at the sunshine, blue Beautiful skies. Day. You look we, like you We saw the sun glinting on the sea. Beautiful. I've got to say one thing. It was chilly on the pier. 
earlier oh. on. I had a little well, look around. The swim? I didn't go in yet. I'm oh. with you. It's a ticket. We'll go and do that later. Show us around. Very nice. Oh, it's the original cornish yes. Well, I tell you what, a lot of light coming in. Yeah. Look at these gorgeous windows. Great windows. Sash windows. Box sash windows. windows this yeah. is a house with character. It's full of character. Isn't it? Like me. This is where I look across there and say, I've missed my train to London. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> Leon and Jane's new home is on four floors, so they've got three flights of stairs to keep them nice and fit. It's like a workout by the sea. To help the removal team, Dane and Leon have colour-coded all the boxes so they can see what goes on which floor. The basement's orange, yellow for the ground floor, blue and cream check for the first floor and the St George's Cross for the attic. So is the system working? Not really. How is the colour coding system going? Well, Jane. not as well as I thought. I but, know. Uh, um, There's been a few complaints. There. They've been complaining from the removal <laughs> well, men. we thought they might be on four floors. But I think the problem has been that all your boxes have been beautifully labelled, but you've not done the labels actually on the small on the room, so they don't know which area to put the boxes. No, but they know what floor it's on. They know what as floor long it's, as it's on. on that floor. The room isn't the problem. Really. They seem to be confused with it though. I oh, know. But you just got to stand and, yeah. and baby. See, I haven't really. been here. <laughs> I know that's why you're standing like a genius. Now look, I found all your loo rolls and right. do that. Make sure there's one every, every yeah. Week. I've promised to take down an old light fitting so the tuppens can have their own one up instead. Go. Yeah, I hope you're gonna make a good job of this. You remember what I did to my chandelier? <laughs> um I think it's probably safer that I'd put this one back up for you. I trust you implicitly. Okay, what's wrong with this one then? I don't know. No? If Jane says that's, she wants that chandelier up there. I just say, go, can you please put it up there? I've had a look at your fuse it? board, by the way, incidentally, mm -hmm. which is kind of like a pet, pet thing for me whenever I go into a new property. Yeah. And um, I've got to say that it's a very, very modern and new fuse board, which is good for you. And also, you've got RCDs on there, which means basically Better if there's a the fault in any of your appliances... Mm -hmm. It'll just click it straight back. So that's actually much better than your last place because it's the old rewirable fuses. Yeah. yeah. So that's good. While the boys keep hard at it, Jane and I sneak into a quiet room for a quick brew. Do you feel like you're on holiday? No, I feel I'm at home. <laughs> you feel like you're home yeah, already? I do, because I've been here so many times and we've been to Hastings and I feel this house is my friend. It's your friend already, you've made it. Yeah, I've been right in it, yeah. Gavin's putting the finishing touches to the chandelier, and Leon's settling up with the removal team. Could have been a bit easier if it weren't for the stairs. In just four hours, the entire contents of the couple's four story home are in, and the removal team can head off back to London. Down in the basement, there's a problem with the washing machine. But um, what worries me is if you have a little look behind there, mm. you've got a waste pipe, which is the uh, painted one at the bottom there. Yeah. There's no uh, hot and cold water feeds. Which means there's nothing to connect these pipes to. The supply is a few feet away under the sink. Because it involves hot water, it's not like uh, cold water, we're just doing outside tap. Yeah. You could probably just lo isolate it locally and get to it. Mm. Um, I mean, you've got the heating on today. Yeah. To start messing around with hot water means draining the oh, system, yes. oh, which... No. Uh, <laughs> it's too cold. <laughs> it's too cold and too late in the day. So instead, we're going to get the front room fixed up and Jane can get that mirror above a fireplace at long last. Yeah. One, two, three. Ooh. That's quite heavy, isn't it? Yeah. So do you want a, a small gap there? Maybe yes. sort of four, four inches or something? Yeah. Up? Yeah, that's fine. There's just enough room at the bottom. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could... I'll be the hoover just now. Oh no! Ooh. <laughs> right, tell me what you're doing and when I should put it on. Yeah, just hook it over that screw. Yep. All right, let go. Beautiful. So you'll have one room, Brilliant. really. Brilliant, yeah. Right, what's next? Anything else for me? Yes. Yes, um, what about that wonderful landscape? Big, what, the I big think it might go here, but we'll need to look at it because of the reflection. I've used two fixings each to hang both the heavy mirror and the big seaside painting. This way the weight will be distributed evenly. We don't want them falling down, do we? An oasis of calm in the midst of chaos. But that's more than enough hard work for one day. 
And with night falling, I think it's about time to give the Tuppens a housewarming present. Leon, Jane, got a little something for you here. Oh, oh. Hello. Yeah. Come up for your little surprise. Oh, oh a badgie? What is it? No, no, no. no. <laughs> like you two moving to the seaside was to get out of the rat race and yeah. live a healthier kind of lifestyle, more exercise, lots of fresh air. And Gavin and I have come up with a perfect moving day gift for you. Are you ready for the big reveal, Gav? <laughs> I am. Okay. Here we go. Take a deep breath. Da -da -da. After three. One, two, three. It's coming. Come on, Sal. Whoa. What do we reckon? Two. Whoa. Oh, no. A child. Oh. <laughs> right, Pegs, I'm at the back. <laughs> oh. Hey. Oh. <laughs> do be careful, then. None of these before you go on the bike. That is such a sweet Who's sign. Who's steering this thing? <laughs> you are. Is there a technique? Is there a bike? Is Don't there an do instruction that. book? Why, thank you, sir. Chivalry is not dead. Now, that's it for moving day here in Hastings with Jane and Lee. And I hope they're going to be very, very... I know they're going to be very, very happy here in Hastings, beside the seaside. Lucky them. It's a cracking house. Now, if you need any tips to help your move run smoothly, then you can check out our website. It's itv.com slash moving day. Now, shall we leave these lovely people to relax? Yes, come on. On your bike, sir. The beach is that way. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Since moving day, Leon and Jane have taken in their first lodger and are enjoying a new lease of life on the coast.